Welcome to Sports Corner. On today's quick video, we've got a special guest, one of the very few women in India who's making inroads into the elite level of off-road racing in the world. Aishwarya Pisai became the first ever Indian woman to win an international motorsport tournament this month and is looking to qualify for the most fabled off-road race in the world, the Dakar Rally. Pisai, who's 23, began racing as a hobby just five years ago and already has five national titles under her helmet. My colleague Shandeep caught up with her. Hi, this is Sandeep Sikdar and today we have with us a very special guest, someone who's been creating waves in the international motorsport scene, Ashwarya Pisse. Welcome Ashwarya to Hindustan Times. Thank you. Ashwarya, first of all, um, how was it to win a world title, the first Indian to win a world title in motorsport? Uh, I think I felt happy and overwhelming, but this is just one step closer to my bigger dream. So that's what this world title means for me. And what is your bigger dream? Is it the Dakar? or? Yes, it's the Dakar. And uh, so w what steps do you need to take from here to reach the Dakar? I think it's about gaining as much as experience in terms of international racing, along with training a lot more, is what it needs. Ashwarya has also suffered um, two major accidents in 2017 and 18. Uh, her, in 2017, she damaged a collarbone. In 2018, she had a problem with the pancreas for which she underwent a surgery. How tough is it mentally and physically to come back from such grave injuries and uh, to compete in a sport which is inherently is very dangerous? Mm, I wouldn't say it has it has been easy. Uh, I think the collarbone was uh, easier because you know it was a smaller injury and I was back on the bike in six days. But uh, with the pancreas, when I hurt my pancreas last year, I think they said I cannot get off and get back on the bike for six months. So that was something that was really traumatizing mentally and physically. But I think two months later, I was already back on the bike and everything. All of this has been only possible because motorcycling or racing has given me a way of life. As an athlete, I think you start dealing with things a lot differently. And also the training that goes into uh, before you go for a race mentally and physically that helps you sort of get back from an injury stronger. A lot of lay people may think that, you know, motorsports is all about just getting into a car or on a bike and just, you know, uh, roaring off on the road or off-road. How, how do you train for such big events? Uh, off-roading is tough. It takes a lot of, it takes a big toll on your body. You have to be hunched up on the bike all the time. How do you train for such big events? I think motorcycling is as difficult a sport as any other sport and I think a lot more because it's also it also comes with a lot of injuries um, and I think it's a safe sport and training for this is 10 times more harder compared to any other sport and uh, we train extensively at least I rather train extensively physically on a regular basis three times a week along with which also includes a lot of mental conditioning which is important for any athlete. Um, I also work with nutrition and then most importantly, you've got to spend as much as time you can on the bike, which is what I get three day, three times a week at Big Rock. The Dakar is going to be held in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, just signed a five-year deal with Saudi. What do you think of the move from South America to, uh, to Saudi? Dakar is known for new challenges and unexpected things. So I think this is going to be a lot more unexpected for a lot of people. And I think it's going to be a lot more challenging. And I really look forward to how it's going to be done. Uh, so, Ashwarya, uh, when did you start getting into motorsports? I mean, uh, how it, was it something your family was into already and then, then you took it up? And tell us about your background. How did you get into motorsports? Motorcycling for me started all when I was 18, when it just started as a passion, when I started riding over weekends. And over a year later, since I had the buck for speed, I started training at Apex Racing Academy mm -hmm. for racing. And about a couple of months later, I started racing. I didn't do so well. I started training more. I started doing better. And I think I knew I wanted to do it professionally or it became my profession when TV racing came along and it changed everything for me. So that's pretty much when I knew this is what I wanted to do for the longest. Were you into road racing as well uh, earlier and then you switched to uh, off-roading? Because generally when you talk to people anywhere in the world, they only, when you mention a motorsport, they think of MotoGP 
or uh, formula 1 mm-hmm. so and but off roading is a is probably a bigger sport in terms of the number of people who participate mm-hmm. in in it uh how uh, when when was it you realized that it's off roading for you and not uh, uh on road racing for me i think road racing is how it all started and road racing was my forte and rally started for me uh, essentially because i wanted to get better at road racing and start winning championships this is this is why it essentially started but over the course when i started uh, racing both off roading and road racing there was a point where i realized that uh, road racing for me Uh, I am old in terms of if I want to go outside it needs a lot more money and a lot more infrastructure and we don't have a lot of indian companies out there mm-hmm. however uh, when tvs racing kind kind of onboarded me it gave me an opportunity to see how much more i could do in the off roading uh, segment and how much they supported me and pretty much why i switched from road racing to rally because it has a longer career and where all will you be participating in the coming months Mm, I think now this weekend I have my international rally championship coming up in Coimbatore so that's where I'm heading to next <laughs>